Alright guys, IMPP Imperial Petroleum stock going crazy after hours. We're going to put some all new levels on here and we're also going to go over why they're going up after hours. So make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. I did see your comments, so I am making the extra video for you guys. Now, IMPP Imperial Petroleum, let's take that off. Now the reason they're going up is because they had, they declared a dividend on Series A preferred shares. They declared a dividend on Series A preferred shares product on crude oil okay i'm trying to read a little bit okay the dividend payment relates to the period from the last dividend payment date for the series a preferred shares on march 30th 2022 through june 29th 2022 so i think as long as you have shares um before june 29th you should get a piece of the dividend if that suits you if that's what you want and i think that's the news why it is moving up okay so now that we know why it's moving up how can we play it key 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 levels now with that being said, since it looks like it's going to open up high, these were the lower levels um, just in case it pulled back. I'm going to still leave these levels here. I'm going to still leave this resistance level here. The only thing I don't like is you see how an aftermarket, see how we had that running aftermarket? Look where resistance came in. Almost hit the resistance level I was giving you guys. Perfect. The high of this was 65 cents right here. It'll come right there. Look at that high. 65 cents. Look at the high. 65 cents. Resistance level I gave you guys. 65 cents so that's the only thing that is a little worrisome because it might have already hit that resistance level which means we can probably push this up to about 70 cents now okay we're going to push it up a little bit because it did kind of hit it after market it still might show resistance but i don't like how it hit it after market okay so we're going to leave still leave the support level and we're going to still leave this buying level here support 50 dollars. i mean not 50 dollars 50 cents uh, buying level 45 cents. We're going to leave those there just in case the level that I give you guys tomorrow breaks Then we know what to look for and we'll already be ahead of schedule So what I'm looking at now is 61 cents 61 cents can be a potential buying level. The only way This level is active. Okay, only way this level is active uh, Let me make that a little thicker Okay, so the only way this level is active is if it passes through it. So when it opens, see how it's at 60, see how it's at about 61 cents now? So if it opens here and it starts going higher, that's fine, okay? That's the buying pressure that we want. If it opens here, opens below it, and it never passes back through it, so say it opens at like 59 cents or nothing, and it never passes through it, it just continues to go down, then you know we're looking at the support level at 50 cents, and then the buying level, if that support breaks, is at 45 cents. But since it seems like it might open at that 61 cents level, we should see how it's going to do pre-market. So probably check that um, in the morning. Right now, we could be looking at the 61 cents. And still, if we look to take it up to about 70, that's still a 14% gain. It's just kind of cutting in the profits since that run kind of already hit the resistance level, already is having a run. So we'll see how it kind of moves tomorrow. But these are the main levels, extra level, move the resistance up. Still have these levels below here that I'm looking at. Hope you guys appreciate the video. Always remember, no foundation of box or anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.